friends to lovers to kisses and cuddles we are doing it god's way this This is is stronger Stronger together Together, closer closer to to God. god Hey fam, welcome to Stronger Together, Closer to God podcast. This is Minister Vernon, and on today's episode, we are going to check out a power couple from the Bible that can teach us why our marriage is bigger than us. When is the last time you receive wisdom for your marriage? Typically, we may get this wisdom of nuggets before on the day we get married. We may have gotten some wisdom like, do not go to bed angry with each other because you don't know what tomorrow may bring. Or maybe make sure to say I love you before you part away from each other. Crazy as this sounds, there was a power couple before I got married that I love to watch and learn from. See, for me, my power couple was watching Cliff and Claire Huxable from the sitcom The Cosby Show. They were played by Bill Cosby and Priscilla Rashad. And while they were fictional characters of uh, couples in this process, The actors still did through their acting what a power couple was all about, working together to instill wisdom, guidance, and advice to their children, friends, and others who were married. But when it comes to you, who are you seeking for wisdom when it comes to the times during your marriage? I believe there are good married couples near us that we should tap into for wisdom and guidance. And the Bible is another place to tap into as well. See, the Bible teaches us about why our marriage is bigger than us and our family. It is a better opportunity to bring others closer to God. The Bible contains some awesome, powerful couples who can give you wisdom and guidance on what it takes to be examples for each other, other couples, and for the kingdom of God. Let's look at Paul's second missionary journey and who he comes in contact with and why. Let's look at Acts 18 verses 2 to 3. It says, Then Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla. From Emperor Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to see them and stayed and worked with them because he earned his living making tents, just as they did. See, Paul's gift was in tent making, and it must have been a wonderful experience to come in contact with Aquila and Priscilla and then find out with these two wonderful individuals who were married that they were in the tent making business. For Aquila, He knew as part of being a man of Jewish faith that each Jewish boy had to learn a trade and then try to earn his living with it. So that would be something that would last a lifetime. And tent making was that. Tent making was used to make houses, but probably during this time, the tents were also used to build for homes for soldiers. So these tents may have been sold to the Roman army. And what is unique about this is a lot of times you will notice, and we'll talk about this, is that Priscilla is mentioned first before Aquila. And this could be because she might have come from a distinguished family of high standards in Rome. She may have been mentioned first because she was a woman with unusual talent. And we'll find more about this as we go in further and dive in more about Priscilla and Aquila. See, in Acts 18 verses 18 through 19, it says, After remaining in Corinth for several more days, Paul finally bid salam to the believers and sailed away for the coast of Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. Before they left, Paul had his head shaved at Centra because he had taken a vow of dedication. When they reached Ephesus, Paul left Priscilla and Aquila behind. Then he went to the synagogue. God and spoke to the Jews. Did you notice a pattern in this and the previous scripture? Priscilla and Aquila are never mentioned separately and they never will be in the Bible. Where you find one, you find the other. It's almost like an emphasis of Genesis 2 verse 24 from the English Standard Version of the Bible, which says, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one. See, their unity for each other impacted those around them. This is why I call them the power couple. They took advantage of the learning from the one-on-one teaching from Paul. And this wasn't a meeting where they just got to meet with Paul for one day or two days. They got to spend a year and a half with Paul. So in this journey, from what they gather and what they learn from, they follow him wherever he went. They listen to his sermons and they discuss every wisdom 
Paul had to share with them. This gives them as a couple an opportunity to evaluate what they learn in their everyday life. See, this is why it's very critical that as a couple, you are in the house of the Lord so that you are learning from the same wisdom and getting the same guidance and have the opportunity to discuss, reflect, and apply what the word of God shares through the man or woman of God to your lives as married couples. And we see that the impact of all of this is going to be able to share this wisdom to others and to help guide people closer to God. Check this out in Acts 18 verses 24 through 28. A Jewish man by the name of Apollos arrives in Ephesus. He was a native of Alexandria and was recognized as an educated and cultured man. He was powerful in the scripture and accepted Jesus and had been taught about the Lord. He was spiritually passionate for Jesus and a convincing teacher, although he only knew about the baptism of John. He fiercely preached in the synagogue. But notice what happens next here. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard Apollos teaching, they met with him privately and revealed to him the ways of God more completely. See, Apollo had the gift. He had the calling and he was spreading the word of God with just so much passion and vigor that people were coming closer to the heavenly father. But he was missing the one critical piece that he needed in order to make his message complete. And that was about the life of Jesus Christ. And who was there to teach him that? Priscilla and Aquila. How did they learn about it? Through Paul. And watch the impact that happens because of the fact that they took this time to bring this young man into a private meeting and teach him the ways of God more completely. Verse 27 says, Then Apollos, with the encouragement of the believers, went to the province of Archaea. He took a letter of recommendation from the brothers of emphasis so that his ministry would be welcome in the region. He was a tremendous help. Key word tremendous help to the believers and caused them to increase in grace. Wow. But that's not all. Paulus boldly and publicly confronted the Jews, vigorously debating them, proving undeniably from the scriptures that Jesus was the Messiah. See, if it wasn't for Priscilla and Aquila to have this divine meeting with Paul and spend the time in not only in his ministry, but also spend the time to learn and receive from the man of God, that they would not have been able to brought individuals and couples to learn more about God and Jesus like they did with Apollo. In fact, they used their home for training and worship. We would call that today watch parties where you will invite people to your home. Maybe you will have all your y'all will sit there and watch the latest messages or sermon from your local pastor. And then you will take time to discuss and support one another afterwards and to build that community of God. When they return back to Rome, Priscilla and Aquila still kept using their home to service the Lord. They kept having those meetings in their homes. And the impact of what they did probably is best expressed in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to give you more than you need so you will always have all you need for yourself and more than enough for every good cause. See, the impact of Priscilla and Aquila was not only an impact that would impact many Christians to become closer to God, but it will also leave a lasting impression in which Paul will recognize them every other chance that he got in the Bible. You see this in three different verses. Romans 16 verses 3 through 4 says, Give my love to Priscilla and Aquila, my partners in ministry, serving the anointing one Jesus, for they have risked their own lives to save mine. I'm so thankful for them, and not just I, but all the congregation among the non-Jewish people. Respect them for their ministry. 1 Corinthians 16 19, all the churches of Western Turkey send their loving greetings to you, Quilla and Priscilla. Greet you warmly in the Lord with those of their house church. Second Timothy chapter four, verse 19 says, please give my warm regards to Priscilla and Aquila and to Orpheus and his family. See, in summary, your marriage has a bigger purpose than you and your spouse ever realize. There are people who need to see examples of power couples who are serving the house of the Lord. Through Priscilla and Aquila, we got to see how a standing husband and wife team who ministers in the early church can make an impact. Occupation to support themselves was tent making while serving Christ. They became close friends with Paul. They complimented each other. They capitalized on each other's strengths and they formed an effective team. They gave us what a great example of what can happen through a husband and wife versus what happens between a husband and wife. 
And the lessons that we can learn and apply in our everyday life is that couples can have an effective ministry together. A home is a valuable tool for evangelism, and every believer needs to be well-educated in the Father for whatever his or her role is in the church. I hope this message was a blessing to you and a reminder to you that your marriage is important in the kingdom of God. Make sure to visit our website at s2c2gministries.com where you can find out how to subscribe to the show, learn more about our ministry and the different coaching and workshop activities we host in the area. And while you're at it, drop us a line and let us know your thoughts about the podcast today. If you found value in this show and would like to partner with us, just click on the partners tab on our website. Please tell a friend about the show and until next time, Peace and blessings to all of you.